Welcome, boys and girls, to our math 12.10 and 12.11. We have right here in front of us is 12.10, the missing parts. I would like you to help me work on this page. So go ahead and pull out your packet. First, go ahead and have it on the front page. I would like you to look at this pattern. Hmm, I don't know what to do with it. But it says, first, we are going to cut. Did you see these four stripes right here? Okay, we're going to cut them in pieces, and then we are going to glue them here if they are the right missing parts for our problem. Are you ready to help me? Okay, we're talking about the 10 facts right here. So that means everything is 10. Okay, and then 10, and then we're going to find out how many fish are missing. Okay, so right here, I would like you to look at your picture. This is number one. As you can see, this is one. Now, we are looking for the family 10. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven fish in our number one question. So if we have seven to find the whole 10, how many are missing? So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hmm, how many fish are missing? Okay, you have one, two, three. Now I would like you to look at the picture that has three in it. Hmm, which one? What strip that has three in it that's right on the top? So I am going to cut this and then I have to glue it right here. Now, I have to look at it and make sure that I have the right answer. So, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Did I found the right missing part? Mm -hmm. Very good. Let's go to number 2. Remember, we're still looking for 10. But we only have 1, 2, 3. I know some of you are very smart. It's like, I know the answer. Mish, look at the number 1 and number 2. Just flip. You are absolutely right. They just flip. So now we are looking for the whole 10. We have one, two, three here. How many fish are missing? So let's see. You have three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Nah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nope. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You are right. So this box will go here. Now let's check. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Is it correct? You're right. Now let's move on to number three. We have one, two, three, four, five. Hmm. We have five. How many fish are missing? Okay, do you want to help me make a stick so that we know what part is missing? How many fish are missing? One, two, three, four, five. Count on six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. Five fish are missing. Did you see where is that five fish at? One, two, three, four, five, six. Nah, one, two, three, four, five. Yes, you are right. So go ahead and cut this part and then glue it right here. Okay, make sure we check them. Let's go ahead. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Did we find ten? Uh-huh. So now we know that this part will go here. How do we know? Okay, we need to check and see if this is the right answer. So we're looking for 10 fish, and we have one, two, three, four. Now you think that these are the missing parts? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You are absolutely right. Very good. So go ahead and turn it. your page on the back. It says we are going to draw. Right here, we cut and glue the missing part. Right here, we are going to draw the missing part. Ms. Lichter, but I don't know how to draw the missing part. Well, we are looking for 10, okay? We are looking for 10. And we have one right here. Uh-oh, how many fish are missing? We need to we need to count and see. Now let's go ahead. You already have one, and we need ten. Look at your finger. Go ahead and have your hands out. We already have one in our problem. We have one already. 
Now we need 10. Okay, so how many do you think are missing? To help you, you can count on two. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, this is your one home already. How many are missing? How many fish are missing? Uh-huh, you are right. We are looking for nine fish. So go ahead and we are need, we're going to draw the missing. So right here, one, we need nine. You said nine, so let's go ahead. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let me see if I have all ten fish in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And our little fence right there is ten. So I have nine missing fish. How about right here? We're looking for the missing fish. We need to have nine. Okay, pretend this is your fish tank. You have nine. You only see six out there. How many are missing? You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So how many fish are missing, do you think? One, two, three, very good. So go ahead and write number three. Good job. Now let's go move to number three right there. We're looking for eight. Okay, but you already have four. You are going to fit your fish. Now, you only see four fish. Now, how many fish are missing? How many fish are hiding? Okay, let's go ahead and find out. You already, you need to find eight. You see four. How many fish are missing? One, two, three, four, five, count on, six, seven, eight. How many fish are hiding from you? Uh-huh, you are right, four. Right here on number four, we need seven fish. You are going to feed them because it's time for the meals. Now, what you see, two are only out there. How many fish are hiding from you? Oh no, we need to find out how many fish are hiding. You already have two. Okay, one, two. Count on all the way until you see your seven fish. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So how many fish are missing? One, two, three, four, five. Very good. So write number five. So right here, you have ten. You have missing nine. Ten minus one equals ten minus nine equals one. Nine minus three equals six. Eight minus four equals four. And then seven minus five equals two. So I'm hoping that you have fun with this. Go ahead and turn your page on the back. Now it is time for us to read the graph. Mm, I love to go to the ocean and look at different kinds of ship boats. As you can see, we have a different kinds of ships right here and boats on our picture. So first we are going to read the graphs. This boat has one, two, three. This green boat has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And right here, whoa, you can see it's a lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now let's go ahead and read the questions and then we are going to color in these bubbles only if they're the right answer. Now let's go ahead and read the question. As I read the question, I would like you to look at our choices. Which is the, the greatest number of boats? Greatest means a lot. Which one's greatest and a lot number of boats? Is this one, this one, or this one? I know, you're right. This one, because it has 10. You're absolutely right. How about number two? Look at it. Which is the fewest number of boats? Not a lot of boats. Is this one not a lot? Is this one not a lot? Or this one not a lot? Uh-huh, do I get this? Not a lot, because it only has three. Now, how many more of this than this? 
So we're going to compare. So this one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, okay? And then here is three. So how many more? How many more of this ship or boat more than this one? How many more boxes? Go ahead and count. One, two, three, four, five. You are right. Where is number five? Mm -hmm. Caller not in. Good job. Now go ahead and turn your page on the back. It's time to read another graph. Right here, we are going to write the numbers and subtract. We are going to write, count how many they have, and then we are going to subtract them. Okay? So let's go ahead and do number one. How many of this? How many boxes they have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Go ahead and write six. How many of this? One, two, three, four. So now I have six and I took two or four away. How many are left? How many? Two, very good. Because you have one, two, three, four, five, six. You took four out, one, two, three, four. You have two left. Good job. Now let's go ahead and go to number two. How many of these one? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Write it down. And how many of this kind of fish? One, two, three, four, five. Very good. So now I have eight and I took five away. You have eight and you took five away because this is five. How many fish are left? You are right. It is three. Very good. Now let's go number three. How many is this again? Uh huh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh huh. It's eight. And how many of these? One, two, three, four, four. Hmm. So I have eight. I have eight of this fish and then four. And I'm going to take four out. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six, seven, eight. So now I'm going to take four. One, two, three, four out. How many fish are left? Four. Very good. I know you boys and girls are very smart and you know what to do on our papers. So I am so glad that you boys and girls are learning with all of these hard. For me, it is so hard, but you guys are so smart and you know what to do. Okay, I will see you next time. Okay, bye.